everyone, this is Tomo Daphne. Welcome back to Nang and Rampa 2 Goodbye Despair. We are continuing with Nekomaru's trial, figuring out the increasingly confusing secret of the funhouse, or the mystery of the funhouse, or whatever it is. On top of Greyhouse. That's where Strawberry House is located. Oh yeah, we were at the part where we figured out that, like, the, the Strawberry House and Grape House are stacked on top of each other. Together, this means the first floor of Strawberry House is also the fourth floor above Grape House. Oh snap! I never expected that the way she said it. But what about the shape of the building? The two houses were completely different shapes. Well, couldn't it be entirely possible? Um, that Four yeah, and it's entirely possible that they just built a building that was hexagonal for the first three floors and rectangular for the last two. Like, the strawberry house is a rectangle, has could have a smaller area than the hexagon. They could have just built, like, part of a roof on top of the parts of grape house that weren't directly. See? Chiaki has created a basic diagram to explain exactly what I was saying. Put us to sleep so we couldn't look at mm -hmm. the outside of the building when he brought us to it. A clever bear. You just been cool! Whoa, hey, I didn't say you could talk. I can talk whenever I want! I think a building full of so many surprises totally deserves to be called a fun house. No, it's an opposite of fun house. It's a this sucks house. It's an I hate you house. What, do I have to show you every building permit I get? The towers. Are they arranged vertically just like the houses? Well, if it's all it's if it's one big cylinder, it would all just be one gigantic tower. See? Effectively being the same tower. It could be possible that that one floor can lift. Oh yeah, then what's your answer, idiot? No. I was I was really interested in hearing what Gundam had to say, but go off, I guess. Strange fear thing in town. Thank you for you, Hiko. One of the towers. Oh, I thought he was going to say what I said, which was elevator floor. When you press the button, it's actually lifting and lowering the floor to appear at the specific part of the tower that it is, has been called for. Which is why it always takes a while when it was previously entered from the strawberry entrance to the grape entrance in Vice Voicey. And that's when you said... Not just that, the parts that I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. Oh, I guess because it moved, all those parts went blah 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 de de arranged themselves. Yeah, and I guess for the dummy argument, how is the killer supposed to know how exactly Kazuichi laid out all those parts? <laughs> Miss Sonia, that's a pretty harsh joke. It wasn't a joke. You are joking. Right? No. <laughs> it's all right. Kazuichi is not the killer. He is too stupid. If he was, he wouldn't have fixed the elevator or the button in Strawberry Hall. Yeah, I guess since the killer it's broke the button the killer and the elevator, if Kazuichi was the one who broke them, he'd want them to stay broken. 
So they were like, hey, could somebody fix the elevator up? Kazuichi, you're the ultimate mechanic. Like, if he said no, that would be suspicious. They're all like dancing around the answer, not actually figuring it out. Chaki, what the fuck are you talking about? No, I meant the. I feel so bad for Chiaki. She has to deal with all these idiots. A device like that? You couldn't enter from the other? Oh, because the floor, like, uh, this is what I was saying before. If you press the button on the strawberry level when it was at the grape level, you have to wait a few seconds for it to come up. A device that transports things to different floors in the same building. An escalator! <laughs> And just like the tower, if you enter from a specific place, you can't enter from the other. That is why we wait for elevators. I feel like I've seen that before. In time I was at Disney World and the elevator was really crowded, so we're like, ah, we'll just wait for the next one. And so we... <laughs> so the next elevator showed up, and it was also really crowded. And then we finally decided, ah, I guess we'll just go up to go down. And then we were almost late for our dinner reservation. Are we really playing Hangman's Gambit for the word elevator? Can't we just say elevator? Hold on, how many R's do I have to shoot to get this fixed? an entire game of Hangman's Gambit to get that. What were you going to say? It sounded like you had an answer. Oh, the elevator, yeah, the elevator is the floor. Elevator floor. The inside of the tower is one big elevator. Which means the tower was designed so that the whole room goes up and down. And it only works if everybody's outside. Strawberry Hall, the Great Hall. And they couldn't figure it out because the ceiling was so high they couldn't see it. So that's why we could only enter it from one side or the other. I know that you mentioned it. Sometimes when I pressed the door button, it took a while for it to open. I mentioned that twice and you're just now see, figuring this out? We're basically waiting for the room to arrive just like an elevator. <laughs> Please hold on. If the inside of the whole tower ascends and descends like an elevator... What? Then why is there a picture of a strawberry on the far back door when you enter from Grape Tower? To fool us. To hoodwink us. To bamboozle and us. And a picture of a grape on the far back door when you enter from Strawberry It's tower. a fake door and it goes nowhere. For all we know, it's just a painted wall. It's kind of like those Wile E. Coyote cartoons where you just paint, paint a tunnel on the side of a cliff and, you, and then you just crash right into it. That's Plus, what Monokuma. After the incident, the far back door in Grape Tower had chains wrapped around it, right? Again, to trick us. But when we entered Strawberry Tower, those chains were gone. Well, obviously, those are separate doors. One is above on Strawberry Tower, one is below on Grape Tower. They are separate doors that go nowhere. You got a better idea? Focus our attention on what has the position of everything on the floor. Because I said so. Come on. What does everything that hasn't changed have I mean, everything that hasn't changed would be position of Nekomaru's body and the pillar and everything that was on the floor. Things that didn't change when we moved between the two towers. That includes the body, the pillar, and the oil. Well, we've been talking for, about that stuff for a while now. There shouldn't be anything strange about them, not even the fact that they all moved with the elevator. Um, the one thing these all have in common. I was just talking about this, they were all on the floor. Which has to be the proof that this is an elevator floor. Is it safe to say that all the items on the 
Yeah, I can't believe we had I had to guide you through that. I am not a kindergarten teacher. Mm -hmm. Why does the picture on the far back door change? Because there's separate doors on separate floors. The reason is because the elevator has something unique about it. Okay, now I'm confused. There's something unique about that elevator. The doors change, but everything on the floor stayed the same. That means, yeah, only the floor moves. I was talking about it. Elevator floor, not elevator wall, not elevator ceiling, not elevator door. Elevator floor. So that's it. The elevator was designed so only the floor moved. Only the floor moved? Only the floor moved, Akane. And evidently the pillars, since that seemed to move with the elevator. Because there's separate doors on separate floors. Then where do the different floors lead? Where do the different what? They are fake ass doors. Just for show. Why was something like that necessary? To bamboozle us, Sonia. So we falsely believed that the doors were connected to where their picture signified. It was actually very effective. Because of that, we totally misunderstood the building structure. Yes, I do. Did you hear that, Monami? Yeah, you did not need any evidence for that fact. For yourself. Then I'll take responsibility and gently caress you. Yeah, get your grubby hands off of me. Wait, there's no way that's gonna happen. Stop with the tasteless jokes. The tasteless jokes sell, Monami. What does the chain on the far back door in Grape Tower mean? They wanted us to it think that they barred the door. The to keep us as far from strawberry yeah, by, by as both breaking the actual strawberry bun and chaining the fake strawberry door, because of that chain. they made you us believe that that door was right? barred, when really it didn't go anywhere. Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair that button, but I do have moral hangups about cannibalizing my friend's body for parts. Seriously, hold on! Even if you do repair the bun, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Chain? The door that leads to Strawberry Hall has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. If you looked over your shoulder, you'd be able to see it, you anemic shit. Even if you fix the button on the Strawberry Hall side, the door won't open as long as that chain is there. Yes, because they did both to make us believe it was the same door. You don't need to worry about that at all. Huh? The killer destroyed the Strawberry Hall button, so we'd stay away from Strawberry Tower. Everything was done to tamper with the evidence, so we wouldn't find out about the secret of the Funhouse. The appearance of a body in the tower would contradict what we thought we knew about the building. Why? In that situation, if we'd gone to Strawberry Tower, we'd uh, have seen that contradiction first. So that's why they broke the button. And using that as a clue, we might have discovered the truth. The truth that the two houses and the two towers are actually one complete vertical building. Mm -hmm. The killer wanted to keep us from learning that. That's why they made us stay away from Strawberry Tower. They destroyed the button and wrapped a chain around the door just for that? Yes, exactly. Would it really have inconvenienced the killer if we learned the true structure of the building? Hmm. It would have been a major inconvenience. Explain how. After all, this funhouse is strongly connected to the ultimate weapon that killed Nekobaru. 
it's, is it like the ultimate weapon of knowledge of this building structure? Oh yeah. No, it is not Kazuichi, and let me tell you why. And grave house connected vertically, right? Right. So, how does the contact elevator supposedly transport us from one house to the other? I see. Now that you mention it, I completely forgot about that matter. because the entrances are on opposite sides. So in order for the contact elevator to work, you'll have to like wrap around the building. And inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is to the elevator. Which means the houses are on exact opposite sides of the tower. But all the evidence we have contradicts that. What does this mean? I'm putting my money on wrap around the elevator. I agree, what does this mean? I can't believe I just said that. If the two houses are connected vertically, the position of the tower should be the same in both houses. But in fact, when my back was facing the elevator in Great House, the tower was on my right. When my back was facing the elevator in Strawberry House, the tower was on my left. How can I break through this contradiction? Please, please, please. Kazuichi's account. Oh, because he had a compass that rotated 180 degrees. Hmm. But how does that. It has to move vertically because there's two separate floors. Yes, I need your help. I'm sorry for all the times I called you an idiot. I need you to confirm something. And the elevator moved so smoothly that, like, you couldn't tell, like, when it was moving. It was just, like, perfectly smooth. And even with the previous theory that the two houses were on opposite sides, that elevator would still not rotate. The fact that the elevator did rotate proves that something's definitely up. Yeah, that's the wraparound elevator. That that's like the only possible explanation. The deliberately confusing. While it moves. Is that even possible? It's like something from an amusement park. Well, we're in an amusement park. Well, a fun house is an amusement park attraction, you know. You can shut up now, Monokuma. Or sell. That's why I drove the Monokuma rock for so that I could just crumble the pieces and I can collect the insurance money. TV producer, so the so rules do not apply to me. House, right? Then let's start talking about the important stuff. Such as how Nekomaru died. The ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru. And how they combine it with the pillar. Huh? You still don't know what the ultimate weapon is yet? It's what I found at the Octagon, you know? It's the what ultimate the weapon of Octagon? knowledge about, about the Funhouse's structure. Oh, my. I can't believe I have they to figured out that now. As long as you know what an octagon means, you can solve this simple mystery easily. No, one can, because you've given us barely any information. What an octagon means, huh? 
It reminds me, an octopus has eight legs. I wonder if that means anything. It's an eight-sided shape. See, that took me three seconds. Take that, Chiaki. An octagon is a shape of eight sides, right? I didn't expect you to know that. You're a substitute reserve course student. I, I learned this in kindergarten, Nagito. I guess I should you, this. We should all know what an octagon what is, is by like age five. Octagon. If the place befitting of the name octagon. Grape house is six sided. Strawberry house is four sided. Neither of them are eight sided. But when you combine those places, a certain place would become eight-sided. Spot selection. Where on this 90s 3D model do you find the anomaly or whatever? Surrounded by, by concrete, concrete in the depths of the bottom Some, it's deck. like the first four floors are hexagonal. Why is that place the octagon? Allow me to explain. Oh, Allow me to explain it. house is on top of the six-sided grape house. And they're like aligned on one. If you cut a four-sided shape out of a six-sided one, you get eight edges. It becomes an eight-sided shape. And be like one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight. But when I saw that diagram, the corridor to the strawberry tower overlapped with like that area. So can you not actually access the entire octagon? Or can you just suddenly walk through solid objects now to get to that last corner? That's a little I learned the true identity of the ultimate weapon at the octagon. weapon is the fun house which means the killer used the building structure as their weapon and killed Nekomaru like me the killer probably realized the secret of the Has it been confirmed the that the killer went through the Russian roulette kill, making use of the building structure hmm. and they didn't use like any of the actual weapons stored in there I guess it would be pretty suspicious if you started carrying like a scythe with you everywhere in a building where you're not supposed to gain access to a scythe. Like, where'd you get a scythe from, huh? It's kind of like yesterday with my first graders. We did a color scavenger hunt where they were supposed to like find different colored items around the room and bring them to me. And one kid said, like, I found a gray item, and then he pointed at the floor, and I'm like, no, you, you can't bring in the floor as an item. How did the killer use that to murder Nekomaru? And... Who is the killer who did that? Adjectives, you can't use them as a noun. 
Okay, class trial reopen, resume. Is the oh, weapon of knowledge? Uh, is it really all right to accept a situation so easily? Why do you have a better idea? I mean, that's not what's important. The thing that's really important is how Nakamaru died. The killer who used the building structure. Like who's Nakamaru's murderer? But is it really okay to believe the building is the weapon? Nahito said it, you know. What do you... <laughs> There's no way I'd lie at such an important moment. I don't want to die either. Yeah, right, you lying liar. The bastard that kept saying how much they didn't mind dying. He's right. There was a time when I thought I could become a stepping stone for your hopes. No, I am the daddy who is stepping on you. Yeah, it means I take it back. And that response makes sense from someone whose brain, whose whose cranium is full of beads. You say such falsehoods, There is no such thing as murder for the sake of hope. Murder is simply murder. Is only sacrificing others for one's own desires. Even one as diabolical as I would avoid such actions. Well, weren't we all starved for three days? <laughs> Let's just leave them alone. And find Wouldn't, out wouldn't you be willing to do anything just to eat, camp. you know, Okane? I know you like eating. It's not like I'm getting hungry or anything. You're looking pretty suspicious right now, Okane. Okane, you're drooling waterfalls? Nagito, as usual, I can't tell what he's thinking. I have no idea if he's serious or not. Anyway, if the killer used the building structure, why don't we think about how they used it? How they killed Nagamara. It's probably very complex and confusing, just like the rest of this case. Cause of death was severe head injury, right? Nakamura's cause of death, huh? He was horribly damaged, as if he was beaten senseless with a blunt object. But if he was beaten with a blunt object, it wouldn't be a kill that utilized the building structure. So what was Nekomaru's cause of death that also utilized the building structure? Not, you're not crushed by the elevator, you can't... Yeah, it would be falling, because you can fall and hit your head, boom, you're dead. I think they figured out a way to use elevator floor. They were able to sink the elevator down to the grape house level and let Nekomaru fall from strawberry house level. Are you saying they pushed him off? Where did they push him off from? That I don't know yet. Emphasis on the yet, we'll figure this out. Don't just make things up when you don't know. I'm going to figure it out, Gundam. Hold your freaking horses, or hamsters, or whatever. What if it might be possible? It wasn't a push. You could push them up the fourth floor when the elevator's on the first floor. Entirely possible, but we'll have to figure that out later. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to blast that patriarchy, smash that like button, bomberman that subscribe button, and I will see you next time with another episode of Danganronpa 2. Goodbye.